Need to listen for something around here, apparently. The mission keeps popping up. Hmm. Ah. Move over here. Waste of time. Mm, not there. Another member of the council. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Another time, my lord. All right, we're doing pretty good on court approval now. Let you read this if you'd like. There we go. Check the map one more time. Yeah, this stash I think is in an area where I'll be going later, so I don't need to worry about that one. We don't have any stashes on this level. Because I think we got the one that was down here already. Yeah, we did. All right, good. So let's go ahead and head, I guess, up would be what we want. Let's check around here, see if I missed anything. So let's see if any of these places might be more accessible now. Nope, they're still locked. Hmm. Ah, okay. I think I remember what I had to do. I think I need to go back over here and do some climbing. So if I go out this way, Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Kurgan. Yep. Now, of course, this is you know everybody's here and they could see what I'm doing. But anyway, <laughs> this is us being sneaky. I always thought that was a little weird. Okay. Court approval. Exploring the off-limit spaces of the palace can yield rewards, but take care not to be too gone too long. When you're absent from the party, people notice, and your court approval will drop. And I think it's about 1% uh, per minute. So this is an interesting kind of time mechanic, because in the previous game, uh, when you were going into places where you weren't supposed to be, they had a more of a traditional stealth mechanic, where you... The idea was not to get caught. Here, it's not about not getting caught. It's about losing face in the eyes of the court. So we need to be rather um, prudent and quick as we go along here. We need hollow statues for that. So if, if ever we think, ah, we need to 
stop our approval from going down, all we do is slide down here or get back into the main hall and we're good. Can go that way, but I'd like to check off this side first, because here we have a hollow statue. Again, just really quick. Yep, see we lost a percent right there. So just slide back down. And we were quick enough that we got it back here. See how many hollow statues we need. Just the one. Pick up negotiations. Haram Sharal investigation clues. Celine. We can discuss this like adults, can't we? We both know that the weapon at Briala's disposal could not only turn the tide of our war, but every war. The Empire must control it. I do not believe you disagree. She is now a greater threat to our lay than anything else. If you and I work together, we can wrest control away from her. Do not deceive yourself that she will be open to negotiation or diplomacy. You know her better than anyone. You know that's impossible. Gaspard. Sounds like he was trying to convince Celine to join forces with him against Briala, which is interesting. Perhaps he fears the Elf Rebellion is even more powerful than what the Inquisition believes it is at this point, anyway. And he says she has some kind of hugely powerful weapon. Could that be involved with Corypheus? Alright. So now let's go out through the Grand Library. Again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to be examining a whole lot of stuff. There's some, a letter here that we want. Before we do that, I want to light these urns. And to save some time, I actually looked up, I think, the order that they need to be lit in to get them to work. Again, just because I don't want to necessarily lose too much approval here. Nice. Secret passage. Get some loot. Not the most absolutely needful stuff, but usually when you have something that's this far, you know, kind of off the beaten track, there's some nice items. I think some of them are schematics for some decent weapons. Okay, down we go. All right, just to reset the timer. Now we'll go back up and quickly run in and grab that letter. Alam Sharal Investigation. Clues. Lady M. I need you at my side tonight. The unpleasantness in the Royal Wing has convinced me there is no safety within the palace. I do not expect my cousin to employ magic, but I would hardly be surprised if he provoked another infestation. Since my court enchanter is not here to assist me, I m must rely entirely upon you. There is no one else I can trust. Selene. That must gall Vivian. That's the bell. I should get back to the ballroom. All right, we hear that bell. Ah! 
take the shortcut. <laughs> So let's get back. And I think if we let the bell ring one more time, we'll actually get some approval for being fashionably late. That would be the second bell. Fashionably late now. That's the key word right there. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? Yes. It's Morrigan. She's the apostate who has been taken into the confidence of the Empress. And last we heard of her, uh, we did hear that she had indeed shown up in the Orlesian court. We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much. But not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I don't know, do we? <laughs> you are being coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first. Recently, I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Must be the first time I've ever seen Morgan in a dress. Who was that Inquisition officer over there? You'll never get to talk to him. The Duchess has asked us to serve more of the ice wine. She's going to Okay, so now we get another subquest here. I still remember the day they came Speaking with various advisors and such. What a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. So, oops, let me get around here. All right. Oops. Let me look at the journal here for a second. Uh, 
Yeah, there are ten statues that are in total that I'm gonna need to find. It's been far too long. How's your family? Why would the Empress invite that elf? Ah, that's what I was looking for. Again, Greet the Empress's ladies in waiting, waiting, <laughs> and speak with Ambassador Briala. Inquisitor. So let's see, are they here on the map? Those are all our companions. Time to take a quick look around. Duke Gaspard has made a fortune at Elias. I wonder if the Inquisitor agrees. And dancing and playing music over there. Third husband, Pierre, lost his life to Sanya. I swore to marry him. here, maybe? Ah, here we go. Ambassador Briala. Madeline, renowned poet and author. Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Selene and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navarran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change. However sorely it may be needed. I had a question about you, Briala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. And so the matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. What's your story? How is an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Selene and I have history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. You just told me you have reason to betray the Empress. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Selene than I. But if she died after inviting me here... The court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across Orlais, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes, Selene and I were lovers once. But we've gone our separate ways now. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Doesn't look like negotiations are going well. Ah, there are the ladies in, wa in waiting. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns Ambassador Briala. Hmm, let's see, what should we say? Mm, I'm not sure if we can ne we necessarily want to accuse her of that yet. Her people have infiltrated every part of the Winter Palace. This is extremely alarming, Inquisitor. She could be spying on our every word. How exciting. <laughs> if the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfells, and she throws the best parties. I always like their follow-up statements. 
<laughs> I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. The nobility must do things very differently in Austria. By Orlesian tradition, moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts. While joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briala are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspar is a decorated general, much beloved by the Imperial Army and a legend among chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages. She is an idealist, but her lack of patience could prove disastrous. Perhaps you could tell me something, then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. Milady Inquisitor, may I present Lady Couteau? And Lady Colombe. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies-in-waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Celine. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved, not just in Orlé, but across Didas. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks a tea black. We have lots of details here. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Okay. Let's see, next we want to go, we on the top level or, let's see, mm, not necessarily, this is more, oh yeah, the servants quarters as opposed to the library. However, I do want to head back to the library one Doesn't more time, well. so I can go along that upper part. I'm so glad Maman did not want to attend. She always ruins everything. The reason Not being, I want to double check to make sure I don't miss any Hala statues, because I'm going to need as many as I can get. So let's take the same way route we took last time. We just got word. Another Danish clansman has landed on the border. Gaspar is waiting. This way. Back up the garden path here. Really have to weave around. Okay. So we want to... We didn't take this... It's the same door, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. See, so yeah, unfortunately, we can't get into that door because the Inquisitor is by herself and we're not a room. But I don't think there are any hollow statues back there. Scandalous legal documents for Liliana. That's some loot. Not so interested in that. Scandalous testimonies. Okay, and now we're back here. I just wanted to be absolutely sure I didn't miss any hollow statues, because then that would just be annoying. And speaking of being careful, go ahead and do a quick save here.
So now that we have the key for Morgan, we can get in there. Though I thought I saw the uh, search icon appear just a second ago. Did I or didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, just for a coin that I can throw in <laughs> next time I pass the uh, fountain. All right, into the servants' quarters. This could be worth checking out. So just in the middle of this crap. What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? The uh, servants' quarters is actually a place where there is potentially combat, which is why all of a sudden we have our uh, people with us. And uh, it kind of messes up, unfortunately, in some sometimes uh, your equipment. And so I need to really quickly kind of go through everything and put everyone's stuff back on, so to speak. Um, I think that was what I had on her. Oh, it was that one. Chanter coat. Yeah, that was it. Okay. And for Iron Bull, he has the Vitar. By the way, the Cunari actually don't wear specialized armor in this game as much as what's called uh, Vitar or Vitaar. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to say it. But um, it's basically tattooing uh, that somehow makes the skin extra hardened or something like that. Now we just need to put our get our weapons back. Staff of Stasis, that's it. And Iron Bowl had I think this one. No, this one. Ah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Last but not least, the accessories. But the accessories look like they didn't get touched. Good. We always kill the servants first, my dear. Otherwise they could run and warn someone. Oh, sure. Reasonable, innit? Friggin' garbage. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere. Yeah, the slaughter here is actually pretty horrific. Battered journal. Diary of a nosy servant. Since I took up, took that box up to the Grand Apartments, nine people have subtly tried asking me where the vault is, including a couple of chevaliers, the fifth undergardener, and one of the Grand Duchess's footmen. I'm not mad enough to tell. And I think we actually have to find that vault. Yeah, as we go out through the map here, I'm going to be searching for it. Because there's an item in Selene's vault that we need for the ending I want. There must be something here. Something around the corner, apparently. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. Is that Gaspard's family crest on the hilt of that dagger? Time to have a word with the Duke. 
Ooh, Venatory that. agents! Whoever they are, they seem to work with the Venatory. Which is not good. The Venatory were watching this approach. They're organized. Excuse me, Iron Bull. So we have at least one assassin kind of confirmed wandering around here. More Venatory. Someone just pulled an Amberl Akbar there. I have to say, the uh, combo of Vivienne casting spells uh, along with uh, Iron Bull with his shattering kind of sword attacks, it's a really good combo. There we are. Still losing. Oh, that's just a plant. We're still losing approval, so we can't dilly-dally here. Nope, another plant. Need to get out of the garden area. Here we go. The grand apartments. By the way, as you, um, if you pause it, oh, there, there's a place to pause it right there. <laughs> anyway. If you pause it, the approval counter doesn't tick. So if you need to quickly kind of look around and say, okay, now where do I go from this room? Just pause the game and you'll be fine. Nothing else in here. More Venator. By the way, we are we will be coming up on a section pretty soon. Where we'll be able to make up a lot of the court approval that we'll lose here. More venatory. here. Whoa, hello, Venatori. <laughs> Winter Palace. I'll let you guys read that. Okay, this we need three hollow statues for. So we will be looking for those. There's one. Got to get through these enemies here. Just drink a potion, Vivian. You'll be fine. Thank you.
Fancy meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? No doubt there's a line of people breathlessly waiting for dancers with me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. <laughs> this is great. Even the elves are trying to bribe you. It's the game, <laughs> my dear. Everyone plays it here. All right, let's keep our look out here. Oh, those are in the other room. Sorry, Iron Bowl, I keep having to go past you. Something to read there. Just mouse over this. Still don't see any of those Hala statues. I did do the end run around here. So I guess we'll just need to make our way back, at least for now. Another little codex here. Scroll, 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 scroll. That was a long one. Am I missing something over here? I don't see anything. Some loot over here. Back when I first played through this, I didn't know how much approval you could afford to lose before um, you wouldn't be able to make it up again, so I tended to really panic on these sections. Mm. Yeah, I really don't see any other hollow statues, so I guess we'll just make our way over. Back out this way. Hmm. I keep thinking that I'm seeing um, items, but actually it might just be plaques or something up on the wall. We get out through here. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, because that just goes back up. 
which is not what I want right now. So we do have to backtrack. Yeah, I didn't really explore that area much, did I? Yeah. We were chasing the Notoria last time we went through here. Let's head up this way. See a ladder. There's a hollow statue. And it wasn't all in vain then. Alright, it didn't actually take me that much longer before I found out that I just kept taking a left when I should have taken a right. Let's see, if we wait for a second bell, will we get another boost? Yeah, maybe that only happens the first time. Checking anything? Nope. Oh well. That would be the second bell. Ooh, just Fashion managed it actually. <laughs> just patient enough. Inquisitor Travellian, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orle, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we?
You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Lorianne? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters, where I found a group of Venatori, and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. You have an idea, Leliana. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Alright, we're headed towards the final act here. See here, find material in the Royal Wing to blackmail Gaspard, and find material in the Royal Wing to blackmail Briliana, Guiala. We're going to be doing both of the those. Ballroom. Where is everybody? Maximilian swept me of my feet. I would love to hear about your time. However, to do that, we're going to need uh, enough of those hollow statues, like I mentioned before. We still can't talk to the Empress directly. All right, so I'm uh, at the end of my recording session time for today, so I'm going to cut it off here, and when we come back, we'll find what we need to see what's really going down here at the uh, Winter Palace behind the scenes. So, until next time, fellow adventurers, take care.